Welcome to Mark Reed 757. Today it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do something. What is on my mind? Well, what is on my mind? Obviously, October 2nd is coming up, and that's been on my mind. October 2nd is Monday. What am I going to do Monday? I'm going to change my weigh in days from Friday, which is today, to Mondays. I feel pretty confident that the, mon the Monday switch will be perfect for me because one of my biggest things was the weekend and after I had my weigh in on Friday, well, I'd let it go and feel real safe and let it go and feel real safe and then come Monday, I'd gain like 10 pounds and I'd have to really work hard, hard, hard. I don't want to do that anymore. And the whole reason why I took this time off was to, you know, prepare myself. I want to have every day where I make much, much better decisions. And that's what I'm going to do. I uh, want to make sure that I go to the grocery store. So if I do choose some bad things, at least it's from the grocery store, not from fast food. Because fast food is like a... Uh, what do you call that? A instant choice, you know, uh, instant gratification. So you know, hey, I'm thinking of cheeseburger. Bam! I got a cheeseburger. Hey, I'm thinking of pizza. Bam! I got some pizza. You know, anything I can think of. Bam! Go to fast food. But then, bam, 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 bam! I look at my wallet and I'm like, I ain't got no money. Let's use a card. And then I look at my statement. I'm like, holy crap! I done. Oh, really bad. And I don't want that to happen. I want to make smarter decisions. And part of the making the smarter decisions is totally eliminating fast food. And I've made steps to do that. And I want to be a lot more honest with myself and have like uh, days that I do like a theme. And that's what I'll be talking about. And I'll have different topics to attack. Anyway, that's October 2nd. I'm going to have a weigh-in, got themes coming, and i got to work on all that on Sunday to get all the topics ready and be good to go. Another thing I wanted to kind of talk about today, I know I did Water Day yesterday or Wednesday, and um, I just had a discussion on Facebook. Somebody posted they were going to drink 12 cups of water, and... They recommend it, you know, someone else recommended, no, don't do 12 cups of water. That's uh, water intoxication. Uh, only do eight cups max. That's it. No more than eight cups. Okay. A lot of people may or may not know the recommendation is eight cups, 64 ounces a day. And they say drink. And I never heard of people say don't drink over eight cups. So I, I don't know where they were getting their information from. Granted, there is a such thing as water intoxication, and that comes from drinking way too much water, way too of a short period of time frame. Um, but eight cups, I've always heard people say drink at least eight cups of water in a day. They never said the most you can drink is eight cups. I've always heard drink at least, and eight cups is more of a guideline. It's a... Just something that, you know, everybody did their research and figured, hey, if you drink eight cups every single day, you're not going to be dehydrated and you're not going to have too much. Bam. So, yeah, that's a pretty good, decent uh, guideline. The problem is every single body is different. All, all of our bodies are different. You can't tell me that me drinking eight cups of water is the same as some 19 year old young female that's about 105 pounds when she drinks eight cups of water she's getting the same benefits that i'm getting or the same intoxication as i am i don't believe so i i believe if you know with the 110 pound female you know maybe she shouldn't drink as much water as me in fact I know she shouldn't and it also determines what the weather is if it's cold out 
I tend to naturally not drink as much water. And when it's hot out, I naturally drink more water. Um, so I guess one of my, <laughs> I hear a saying in my sports talk show, don't get hooked. Well, I had to comment and my comment was, <laughs> I must be a walking miracle because I drank over a gallon of water for six months straight a day. Get drink a gallon a day six months straight. <laughs> I was just trying to prove a point. You know, should you drink a gallon a day? I don't know. Are you working out a lot? Are you, uh, is it hot out? Um, are you losing a lot of water? I guess one of the things when you drink a lot of water, it flushes out your sodium, which is good. And it's kind of ironic because people say when you eat too much salt, you retain more water. But yet when you drink water, it flushes out the salt. Does that make sense? That's what my conclusion was in my research. So you're drinking water, you're going to flush out the salt, but you do need some sodium. So it's like don't cut out all sodium because I guess that's not good. But if all the foods, like all kinds of foods have sodium, so I pretty much don't have to worry about not having enough sodium. I think I need to worry more about the drinking the water because when I drink the water, it allows me to not use empty calories and I consider empty calories uh, like pop and over sugary drinks coffee Gatorade stuff like that but uh anyway this has been my video for Friday I just wanted to do like a what is on my mind and that water intoxication was on my mind and I also just before I quit real quick I uh, wanted to mention that no matter what you're never gonna please everybody so I know my videos are gonna be yay for some people and boo for other people it's how you handle those determines I mean obviously uh, you know every president that we've ever had not one president has been completely beloved. There's been something that somebody somewhere just did not like. And that's just the nature of it. Anyway, I'll probably see you Monday. Monday weigh in. Monday meal talk. Monday meal prep. Monday something. Monday. 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 See ya.